So can you explain like your whole life and like, do you have a penis? Have you had surgery yet? Do you have a penis yet? Do you have a vagina yet? Like, can I, can I see it? Like, I'm like, what? Hey guys, so today's video is what I didn't, things I didn't expect while, tra things I didn't expect while transitioning three. And let's just get into it because I hate long intros. So the first thing I didn't expect, girl, honey, sweetheart hair removal, electrolysis and laser hair. No one told me how damn painful this was going to be. No one told me how effing painful laser, but especially electrolysis is. And for those of you who don't know, laser is pretty simple. You just get your hair lasered or whatever. Electrolysis, holy shit. You have to get every individual hair zapped and then pulled out of your fucking wherever. And by the way, I didn't know before transitioning because I, I didn't really research. I don't know. This is just me. Remember, if your experiences are different, that's great. But honey, mine are mine. And I'm just sharing. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You have to get your cracha cha cha electrolysized too. Is that even a word? Electrolysized? You have to get electrolysis on your crotch area, which that's a Brazilian wax times 10, like zapped and pulled each little hair. Oh shit. No, no, no. Mm. I was honestly not prepared for how painful and how long it is. Girl, I thought for some reason laser was going to, was like a like a one week thing or something, not not one week, but something really short like that. Honey, it is long and painful, so be ready. And if you come back to this video after you've gotten it, you're gonna be like, bitch, I was, I, I was not ready. I didn't expect it. The next two kind of coincide a little bit and I'll just get right into it instead of explaining. People are going to, if you get in an argument with someone or a disagreement or whatever, People are going to use the fact that you're trans against you. And I know some other people, if you're like a minority of any other kind, people do that. But I feel like people are so damn quick to just be like, like if you're, if you're like in an argument with like a cis girl or something, the first thing she's going to be is, the first thing she's going to say is, bitch, you want to be me. You're trying to be me. You cut your dick off so you could fucking be me. Like, you wish you were me, bitch. Like. Stuff like that, and it is so annoying because it's like in normal fights, like in normal girl fights or whatever, that wouldn't even be a thing. But I notice it, not just with me, but with every damn fight with a, a cis person versus a damn trans person. It's always the trans card used in their face, and it is so annoying. Like, be original. Like, call me a bitch or call me like fucking rude or ignorant or like disrespectful or I don't know what else. What's like something really offensive? Call me, say I have bad character or something. I don't know. Why do you have to say I'm trans? Like, why do you have to use the trans thing as in my face? Like, you're hating on a whole group of people when you, you should just be attacking me as a person, you know? So I think that's just so annoying and something I definitely didn't expect because it's like when I identified as a gay guy, like, yeah, it was used against me, but it wasn't used as much. I don't know. I don't know. That might just be me. That might just be like my problem type of thing where it only happened to me. I don't know. I never know when I'm going to like say what I say because I can't read the comments live. But yeah, that's the first thing. The second thing that kind of coincides, everyone, oh, what the all right, so the lighting is different because uh, my camera like shut off or something and it wouldn't turn back on. So I let it charge for a few more hours and I have one more point that I was about to make and then it turned off. So I'm just going to get in it into it. Something I didn't realize or things I didn't expect while transitioning is that everyone expects you to owe them an explanation on what being trans is. How do I explain this? You know what I'm talking about. Everyone wants to damn know your business, even if it's like completely 
the most inappropriate time ever. Like, I know a girl who is trans, and she was on a fucking job interview, and the interviewer was like, oh, what's, what's being trans? Like, is that when you're born with, like, a penis and a vagina? Like, I, what is that exactly? And everyone just is up in your business, and it's so frustrating, because it's like, those answers you can easily just fucking Google, and... It really irritates me when people are like, people who aren't trans, of fucking course, it's always the people who aren't going through the shit that seem to have the most answers and know everything that are like, oh, well, if you're trans, you should just expect that. Like, yeah, I understand, like, some people are curious. There is a time and a place for everything, but, like, people will literally, at the worst fucking times, be like, so can you explain like your whole life and like do you have a penis have you had surgery yet do you have a penis yet do you have a vagina yet like can i can i see it like i'm like what no and then and the most annoying thing is when you're like um bitch i don't have to tell you shit and then they get defensive like oh fuck you you tranny ass like you if you're a train if you're a tranny you should like you owe me the explanation. It's ridiculous, it's really annoying, and it happens way more often than I expected. Like, I don't know, I expected it to happen once in a while, but seriously, almost every person I meet, almost, not every, but almost every person I meet who has no idea what it is, it's just all of my business, and it's like, I'm just trying to eat fucking dinner. Do I really have to talk to you about, like, shit like that no thank you honey and don't get mad at me either because i don't wanna call google bitch <laughs> like you guys should tweet me things that i should include in my next video of this series or whatever because i feel like i'm starting to like miss something so if you are trans or you're good friends with someone who's trans etc etc dating someone who's trans whatever it be Tweet me and I will put it in my next video and if you want I can mention you or whatever if you want to say anonymous. Anyway, I love you guys and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!